This is the very first update about the current state of Lobster's List for Kickstarter and what direction the channel is taking. Thank you to the 17 people subscribed to my channel so far. This is an opportunity for you to tell me in the comments what you expect from me and how I can improve the show. For regular users of Kickstarter, I want this series to be in an easy to consume format that someone can find in their subscription feed in the morning and watch while eating breakfast. If I am doing my job right, then you should be aware of the major video game projects that have launched on Kickstarter recently and maybe be introduced to projects you otherwise would not have known about. The format I am using has at least four video game projects in the main list after the intro card and then the other projects that caught my attention going in the unrolled mentions list. To save time, I don't list every reward here, just the ones I believe will be the most important to know. I am running out of new ways to keep rephrasing what tiers have rewards for a copy of the game. After the end card, I sometimes put a photo about something I went off on a tangent to talk about. In the video's description, I put an explanation about Kickstarter, the links to the projects, and a blurb at the bottom often about how production went. I am liking this format so far because of how condensed it is and I think spending too long on each project isn't necessary because if you are interested in a game you will get more information by visiting the actual project page. It is possible that something could be added after the unrolled mention sections if I needed to make videos longer. One of the important things I want to talk about before many people get too bored is a policy on comments. If you are posting about a project I didn't mention in the videos, please include the shortened Kickstarter URL for the convenience of others when it is first introduced. The internal search for the Kickstarter website isn't the best even if you know the name of the project you are looking for. I have no problem with people posting comments updating about the funding progress of campaigns and might encourage it. Cheering on or criticizing projects are just natural discussions. That's about it about comments. The original plan was to make a thread for the series on the subreddit for Kickstarter after preparing at least 10 episodes. Just taking a first episode to Reddit would likely have it downvoted into oblivion and it is better to present the channel when it is more polished. That plan was derailed by production problems that hurt the quality of episodes that I am making progress resolving. Until the episode for June 3rd, I was actually using the Tape -a Talk app on my Android phone to record the audio, and it sounds like I am yelling into the phone because I was. I've since upgraded to using a condenser microphone and a homemade pop filter made out of a nylon stocking and an embroidery hoop. As well, I am now using Audacity as the recording software. I will continue with OpenShot for the immediate future, but I may decide to go back to Cinelera to do more advanced graphics. The annoying white artifacting that has plagued some videos is now fixed by replacing the version of the media-loving toolkit I was using. Having a consistent level of quality is important for maintaining a channel's audience and attracting new subscribers, especially because my strategy has been to get my videos recommended by YouTube's sidebar rather than spamming links everywhere I can. By far, the majority of views are coming from YouTube recommending my video when someone is browsing videos related to the projects I feature. Since computers have difficulty with context, Search engine optimizations help direct more people to my videos. One of the obvious things I am doing to get recommended is putting the extra effort into subtitling my videos because Google can then index the contents of the subtitle files for keywords. I prefer to do that than spam hundreds of tags in the video description. When I am fortunate enough to have a project creator post a link to one of my videos on their Kickstarter project page, like Project Slugger, Skylantis, and Echoes of Aeons did, Google's search algorithm notices and then more strongly associates my video with that project when someone searches about it. One way I can get creators to feature my videos is to be a very early supporter and try to help out with advice based on my experience with the site. Now about moving forward. One of the biggest changes I want to make to the channel is much more recordings of game demos and to start doing impression videos for the games I am getting through Kickstarter rewards. That would allow me to cover the life of a Kickstarted video game 
from campaign launch to the final game. The first problem is that the graphics card on my laptop that I'm using to make these videos is just a mobile ATI Radeon HD 4250. Is fine for these videos if I just leave it alone while rendering, but for intense 3D games there won't be good enough frame rates even before screen capture software is engaged. My brother's laptop has a NVIDIA GTX 560M, so the short term plan is to use his machine to record gameplay when his schedule permits. Another obstacle is that I haven't set up a means to do live commentary alongside gameplay before, so the first episodes of that impression series would probably be scripted. If I tried to do a Let's Play series, I don't think my commentary would be funny enough, so I'm considering asking someone I know from college who has already done some Let's Plays to do some videos of Kickstarter games for my channel. Another change is that I do plan to activate ads on this channel to have some revenue that could go towards improving my hardware and to increase my pledge amounts on projects. My Google AdSense account was approved for YouTube monetization on July 15th and I've only tried enabling ads on the July 10th video so far. If some of you are asking why I don't start my own Kickstarter project for funds, my answer is that I don't foresee the need to for the scope of what I'm trying to do, and the cost of setting up the required American bank account would almost be the amount I would be asking for for hardware improvements. Eventually, another thing I need to overhaul is the graphics I've been using since the second episode. I might use the Spriter animation software I backed to animate the opening card once I learn it. The last point I want to cover is that I plan to do the grand launch for this channel with an episode adapting a free ebook I've been writing since before the first episode for project creators in the video games category. I've already written out the majority of a draft with some of it still in point form. What needs to be done is mostly very time consuming editing. Since it has less priority than making new lobsters list for Kickstarter episodes, it will probably be finished at the end of August at its current pace. I might take it to Reddit, but I'm no longer sure which subreddit. The R Game Dev one might be a better choice than R Kickstarter, so I might message one of the moderators there first. The graphics for the video have also begun to be drawn up. I also intend to reveal my face in an author biography blurb at the end of the book. Thank you for watching, and I hope this helps the channel. This week has been too slow to do a Lobster's List episode, so check out a 2.5D Dungeon Explorer, Wicked Crush, and the Stop Motion Animation Project, Anomalisa.